What's up, monarchs? I am divine. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm so grateful that we have a line. Welcome or welcome back to the monarchy. Okay, so this is tapped in Tuesday. So the Lord gave me something very interesting that he was like, I want you. This like I'm, I'm always like, oh God, what do you want me to tap into, right? What 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 do you want me to, you know, explore? What do you want to reveal to me, right? And something that he put on my spirit was that you guys know that if when you don't know what to pray for, when you don't know how to pray, when you don't know what to say, the Holy Spirit can pray for you or will pray for you, right? The Holy Spirit will intercede for you. I'm going to read the scripture to you, okay? It's Romans 8, 26, and it says, In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans, okay? So, that that Spirit, I don't know if you've ever been there, but I know I have, right? Where it's just like, you just have that when you're lamenting, right? You just feel that groan, you feel that, that yearning for God, right? When you're just yearning to God and you just don't know what to say. But you know, like, you feel what's on your heart and you feel what's in your spirit. But you, you know, like, you can feel that your spirit is grieved or your heart is grieved, but you just don't know what to say, right? That is when you can ask the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, intercede for me, right? I don't know what to say right now. I don't know what to pray for right now, right? I don't know what to ask for, right? I don't know how to express myself right now to God, but... The Lord knows all, right? The Lord knows what's on my heart. So Holy Spirit, please intercede for me, right? Pray, pray for me. Pray for my heart. Pray for my mind. Pray for my spirit, right? Keep it in alignment with Christ, right? That is so powerful. More powerful than you asking your, your pastor to pray for you or your, you know, your Bible study group to pray for you. Well, yes, all those things are great, right? Because the Bible tells us where two or three or more are gathered, right? The, the Spirit of God is there. However, the Holy Spirit, God himself, right, will intercede for you, will pray for you if you only ask, right? And the Bible says, ask and you shall receive, right? So when you ask the Holy Spirit to pray for you through your groans and, and, and your, your moans and your, your lamenting, right? The, the heaviness in your heart and the heaviness on your spirit, right? When you offer that up to God, right? With, without words, right? With just, just spirit, just feelings, right? Because God don't speak English, right? God don't speak Spanish. God don't speak Chinese, right? Obviously, he understands it, right? But God speaks through spirit, right? God speaks through spirit. Which the Bible tells us not by night, not by power, by, but by spirit, right? The, the spiritual realm is communicated in spirit, right? So it's even more powerful when you just completely surrender and submit your spirit to the Holy Spirit and to God, right? And allow the power of the Holy Spirit to intercede for you, right? And, and to pray for you and, and to reveal and open up all the things that are on your heart, right? And on your mind, and on your spirit, right? The Bible tells us that all of the things of the world, right, are flow from your heart, right? All of the iniquities, all of the troubles, right, that you have on your heart and in your mind and in your spirit, right, they flow from your heart, right? The matters of life flow from your heart. And if you are in that submission, right, that complete surrender to God where you're just like, I don't even know what to say right now. Like, I've said everything. I've prayed the same prayers over and over. I've made the same petitions over and over i've made the same supplications over and over i fasted over and over right i have toiled with this thing over and over it has tarried and i'm still waiting for it right lord i don't know what else to say that is when you enter that complete submission to god right that's complete submission to to christ in terms of your spirit and your mind and your heart where you're like there are not even human words right i i can't even express the depth of my my connection and of my, my yearning for God through my fleshly you know communication right that is so powerful to God right that that is a complete surrender in the eyes of the Lord right so the Lord just wanted me to share that with you guys and 
give that give that to you guys so that you have something to, to tap into, right? To think about tap into that complete submission, right? Tap into what it feels like to not have any words left. All you have is spirit to give. All you have is it is the spirit that you, that the Lord gave you to give to the Lord, and you offer that up, right? That that brings powerful transformation as well as powerful connection to God, right? That strengthens the connection to God because you then, in that moment, you recognize that you don't need words to connect to God. You don't need anything fleshly to connect to God, right? All you need is you because God is already within you, right? All you need is your spirit, right? All you need is your spirit, okay? So, I hope this helps. I hope this heals. This like this movie. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the bell one if you want to know when I post more. If you're interested in any healing services, all the information is in the description box below. And I'll be back.